Hey guys, Sound Killer here, and today I'm going to show you how to make virtualized style um, pads in FL Studio. So, first off, I'm going to open 3D Grand Analyzer, and let's get started. So, I'm going to be working off um, Virtual Riot's um, live stream where he did some um, piano pads in, in Pad Shop. So I'm going to be focusing on that and I'm going to use the same sample he did, which was the, from the Tokyo Soundscape Piano. So FL Studio has a built-in granulizer and it's really powerful. So you can do pads like that. It won't sound the same as Virtual Riot, but you can do some pretty amazing, good sounding pads. And I'm going to show you how real quick. So first off, I'm going to go here to my sample section. I'm going to shorten the length of the sample so that I can only use this sample, this first shot, which is in D minor. So I'm gonna go here. We are in D, so as you can hear, as you can hear, we're in D. So let's fine tune these knobs a bit to get him sounding very patty. So first of all, I'd like to turn off the randomness to 100%. What the randomness does is that it selects a random place where it's going to start. So it just randomly moves between the sample and you can just randomly hear different parts of the sample. That the hold, what it does is that it holds the sample. How long will the sample be playing? until it changes to like how long the duration of each grain each sample lasts so i have it to max to make it a very patty sound i like to turn down the attack then the grain spacing is the space between each sample so if you set it down to like the minimum there will um each grain will start and they'll mostly layer each other or if you have them in max um each grain will start after each grain and you hear a space of silence between them so i like to have them here up the minimum amount of course i like to turn off the turn on the loop so that it's continuous And it's already starting to sound like a pad. The next thing I like to do is turn on the pan to 100%. This basically gives it a stereo sound. The wave spacing, I'm not sure what it does, but I like to have it at 0%. I'm not sure um, if I find out though what it does or if somebody knows, um, please comment it. So I like to also go here into the, the envelope mode. I like to do a long release. You can also like change the pitch in which the sample is just by right clicking here to a different region. For example, if you go over here to C6 or C7, it's going to lower the pitch one octave, while if you put it here in C4, it will raise it one octave. I like to have it here. I can also like show you guys here. We can also like add some effects to this for example we can just like give it a slight OTT to this
we can then like EQ this by making a a band pass. Then just add reverb just to make it more spacious. just like use the whole sample if I go here and just clone this and just like having one note can give you like a minor uh, a minor pad. So for example, if I want a F minor pad. And there we go. So, but if you like want to make the chord yourself. You can just do what I did here by adjusting the length. So we have... How this one sounds, so. and this works with any tonal samples so if for example if I don't want that one and I want this one which is in F sharp I'm just gonna go here that pitch doesn't work so I'm just gonna change here can just do the sample selection. And you can like also move here, for example, if you want this sample over here to be your one shot. You can just like move the sample start. Just to choose a different area where you want the sample. And this, you don't only have to like use pianos, you can use like... like so many different kinds of sounds with this like technique and you can also like just use different kinds of sounds like for example
though the endless like there's endless possibilities on what you can do like with pad style stuff so and all that is being done with just like fl studio stuff so for example i don't need um pro q3 you can just do like just go here and change this into like a band pass over here And just have something like that, for example. And you can also add like some delay and just even post process this even more to have it like more spacious, more big, more like your style. So that's something really great. And all this is being done in the Phil Studio. So, hope you guys really learned something today. This was just a quick tutorial, something I wanted to like refresh. I already did this video once. It's basically a re-upload if you must. But I think this is very useful. I think people should know about more things about their DAW and use, for example, things that it's in their DAW. For example, a 3D Granalyzer is available in the Producer Edition and I'm, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure it's also available on Fruity Edition. So that's something like, yo, you should definitely just use it because it's there. So I think I'm trying to encourage people to just like use what's in their DAW instead of like spending so much, for example, on something Virtual Riot has, which is Pad Shop Pro. Instead of buying Pad Shop Pro, you can do those same style of pads just in FL Studio. So yeah, this was my video. Hope you guys found it um, useful. Hope you guys learned something new today. And until next time.